So I recently posted a poll on my community tab on YouTube and I asked you guys what is your favorite intelligent flight mode from DJI. Now the results came back as expected, most of you said active tracking. Now I would normally agree with that, but over the past few days I've been playing with Waypoints 2.0 on my Mavic 2 Pro. And I'll tell you guys right now, it is a game changer. It's so much better than the regular, you know, original Waypoints mode, you can do so much with it. So what I'd like to do with this video is I'd like to give you guys a short tutorial on how to set up a pre-planned flight using Waypoints 2.0. You can set up a flight plan, a mission, before you even go to where you're gonna fly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make a second video on Waypoints 2.0 and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set these Waypoints manually because I'm gonna do a project over the next 18 months to two years and I'm unable to do a pre-planned flight so I actually have to go out there and set them the old-fashioned way by clicking on C1 and making a waypoint mission that way. And finally, in that second video that's gonna come after this video, I'm gonna post them both on the same day. I'm gonna tell you guys one thing that I think everybody should know about Waypoints 2.0, and it's something that's very simple, but if you do it incorrectly, your footage is gonna come out looking not so great. So let's get to it. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you happen to be here for the very first time, this is 51 Drones and my name is Russ. If I provide you with any information that you find useful today and you wanna see more content like this, consider clicking on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So I know I'm a bit behind on this one because it's been out since January. And the reason is I've been trying to get better at flying manually. I do like the intelligent flight modes on, on my Mavic Pro, my Mavic 2 Pro and my Mavic Air, but I found myself relying on them too often. So I finally decided to give Waypoints 2.0 a try because I wanna fly this exact same flight path over the next 18 months to two years as this new medical park is being built in our community. Now I tried this last year over the last 18 months with my Mavic Pro on a stretch of highway that they were expanding from a two lane into a four lane, but I had a few major hiccups with that. First of all, the mission that I had saved just disappeared like two times. And so I had to kind of start over. So my footage was inconsistent. And then secondly, and much worse, is that towards the end of the project, one of my micro SD cards failed and I had a lot of the footage on that micro SD card. So because I was trying to save a few bucks using a cheaper micro SD card. So my advice to you guys, don't skimp on the micro SD cards, get the sand disc. I've never had a failure with those and uh, they're really not that much more. So Waypoints 2.0 is an advanced intelligent flight mode that allows you to pre-program some very detailed flight parameters. Not only can you set specific locations for the drone to fly to, but you can also adjust the speed, the altitude, the gimbal pitch, the camera direction, and the coolest feature of all, you can add points of interest, one or multiple points of interest. So to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna head out to this construction site. Now this is a 300, million dollar project so it's going to be pretty impressive when it's completed and i want to document its progression of the build now before we head out to the site what i want to show you first is how you can pre-program a flight before you actually get to your location now this can be very useful um, especially if you're flying a long flight and you want to save battery life you don't have to set it manually uh, and then when you get out there, you launch your drone and run the mission. So it's pretty cool. Now, I'm not gonna pre-plan this flight for the medical park because it's not gonna show up on the maps. It's just an open field on the maps. So I actually have to go out there and do it the old fashioned way by clicking on C1 and setting my waypoints. And that way I can make sure that everything is positioned correctly. And so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna start up my Mavic 2 Pro and I'm gonna show you guys how to pre-program a flight. Okay, so right now I'm at home and I'm gonna show you how to pre-program a flight with the new Waypoints 2.0. I guess it's not that new. Like I said, I'm a little behind the ball here, but um, but I've navigated to a location that is you know, kind of a scenic location. And uh, we're just gonna focus on this little portion of the lake right here. And so we're gonna engage the Waypoints Intelligent Flight Mode. Click on that right there. And when that comes up, the first thing you're gonna see at the very top of the screen, you're gonna see five icons. Now, the first icon is to set waypoints. That's how you um, set a waypoint, have that one highlighted. The next one is point of interest. And we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. The next one is how you can save a mission once you have created one or a task, you can call it mission or task. Next one is the trash can, which is delete. You can delete missions or you can delete waypoints. Right here, you click on the three little dots. That brings up those first four 
uh, icons right there, but also you have the task library, which is where your saved missions will be. So you can recall them when you get out to the location. And, and then the next one is the route settings. Now what this is, is kind of a default settings for your flight, for your missions. And so you have some options here as far as um, as far as how the drone behaves when it's running a mission. So the first one is the route types. You can choose polyline or arc. Polyline means it goes directly from one uh, waypoint to the next in a straight line. And if you choose arc, that's going to make more of a smooth kind of cinematic movement as it goes through the waypoints. Now the disadvantage of using the arc uh, route type is that you can't change camera actions when you have that engaged. That is one disadvantage of using arc. So we're going to choose polyline as our default. As far as when the task is finished, you can have it return to home, return to the very first waypoint, hover or land. And I like hover for some reason. I don't know why, but the next one is um, if it loses signal with the controller, you can have it continue the task, return to home, hover or land. And I'm going to choose continue task. The next one is all waypoint direction, custom route. We're always going to leave that on custom route. And then the cruising speed, you can set a default cruising speed. Let's just set that at 15 miles per hour. And so, you know, that's kind of your um, baseline, but you can change those anytime when you start programming your waypoints. And so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to click on waypoints and we are going to just set some, let's just set three different waypoints. We'll start, um, let's start out here in the middle of the water. We'll tap on the screen right there and that sets our very first waypoint. And let's do, uh, let's do two more. Let's put one right here by the road and then let's put one over here on the other side of the highway. And so we have our three waypoints set. Now, as you can see, there's a little white arrow there that shows you what direction the camera is facing. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you what that, how you can change those in just a second. So now, as you can see, also, they are all set at 160 feet altitude. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on an individual waypoint and that's going to bring up a whole bunch of options on the bottom. Well, not a whole bunch, but six of them. And the first one is the altitude. Now you can change your altitude to whatever you want it to be by just sliding your finger up and down. And you just move your finger down to lower the elevation, raise your finger up to, uh, to increase the elevation. So let's just set that first one at 201 feet. Now we're going to go over to the next one and this is cruising speed. We already set the default 15 miles per hour, but if you want to change that, you just slide your finger up and down. So at this waypoint, when it leaves this waypoint, you know, we're going to have it go about 17.9 miles per hour. Now the next one is the route, the custom route or, or the camera direction basically. And so right now we're going to change this to custom route. And so there you see that little white arrow is pointing straight up. Now it's pointing that way. We can change that by sliding our finger just like we did with the elevation. And that's going to rotate the camera angle. And so we can just move that around to whichever direction that we want. Now we're not going to use that uh, in this flight. Well, I'm not going to actually do this flight, but we're not going to use that because we're actually going to use uh, a point of interest, which is going to tell it, it's going to tell the drone which way to point the camera. But, uh, but if you want to um, manually adjust each camera angle for each waypoint, you can do that by sliding your finger right there. You can also change the gimbal pitch. Um, well, one thing I forgot on the custom room, but I'm sorry, camera action. Now this is where you can set what the drone does, what the drone camera does at each waypoint. So you can choose for it to take a photo or it can start recording once it reaches that waypoint or you can choose stop recording. So if you're at the last waypoint, like when you get over here to number three, we can um, pick number three camera action. You can stop recording on that one. So let's go back to number one. And uh, so now, like I said, remember if you don't have polyline engaged, if you're using the arc, you're not going to be able to change these. And so we're going to set this first one to start recording. So we're going to save, you know, we're going to save our SD card space by having it not record until it gets to that very first waypoint. And then the last one here is point of interest. Now this is where you can choose a point of interest, which we're going to do here in just a second. So once you have all those set, you just hit OK. And what we're going to do now, first of all, before we choose a point of interest is we're going to set those same things for each of these waypoints. And so the first thing that we're going to change is the altitude. We're going to have the drone go up a little bit as it goes to uh, uh, waypoint number two. So we're going to go up to 297. We're going to leave the cruising speed the same. Um, we're going to uh, have the camera not do anything. We'll just leave that the same. And then we'll go up to the number three waypoint. And the only thing we're going to change on this one 
is uh, the stop recording. We're going to have it stop recording when it gets there. So as you can see, it's going to start recording at waypoint number one. It's going to go to 201 feet. Then it's going to raise up to 297 when it gets to this one. And it's going to gradually get up to there. And then it's going to go down as it goes to waypoint number three. Now, as you can see, the camera is pointing by looking at the little white arrows there. The camera is pointing in that direction. That camera is pointing straight up. And this camera is pointing straight ahead. So we want to change that. We want to focus on this little kind of peninsula right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go in the upper uh, settings right here, the upper icons, we're going to choose that little star and that's going to set a point of interest. So we're going to choose that point of interest and we're going to tap on the screen right there on that little peninsula. And so to make the camera point at that point of interest for the entire uh, duration of the mission, we're going to tap on that and down at the bottom here, you can first of all choose the altitude so we can move that up or down. Now I'm going to leave it right at zero because we want it to point right at the ground okay and then if we go over here to link waypoint you can have each waypoint uh, direct the camera towards the point of interest or you can choose this uh, Chinese symbol right over here I'm not sure why that doesn't say select all but uh, we're gonna choose that and then they're all marked and then that as you can see it changed all of those little white uh, directional arrows to point towards that point of interest and so we're just gonna hit OK and we are pretty much set. We have our mission set. The drone is gonna uh, head over to point number one. It's gonna start at 201 feet. It will start recording, and then it will rotate around to number two, uh, all the while keeping the camera pointed at that point of interest. And then when it reaches number three, uh, as it decreases in elevation to 160, it's gonna stop recording, and it's gonna hover right there. And so what we can do is we can save that. So we just click on that little icon and that saved it. Now, if we click on the little three dots, we can go into the task library and we can change the name of that. So let's go ahead and change this to, let's just call it Lake. And there we go. So that just helps you remember um, the location that you set that waypoint mission for. So we're gonna close that out. And now we're ready to run our mission. So all we have to do is drive out there, launch our drone and uh, engage waypoints, open up our task library, choose um, that lake mission and then hit load and then hit go and it will run the mission. And so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna head out to the construction site and I'm gonna show you how to set all of these manually. Basically it's the same way that we've done it in the past with waypoints, but uh, but I'm just, I just want to take you out there and, uh, and show you the site and, uh, hopefully we can get a pretty cool, you know, year long or maybe two year long, it depends on how long it takes to build it. I think it's supposed to be done in, uh, under two years. So hopefully we can get a, a nice uh, kind of time lapse of that build. So let's head out to the location and do that right now. Okay, so that's how you pre-plan a flight using Waypoints 2.0. Now what I want to do is show you guys how I'm going to manually set a Waypoint mission using Waypoints 2.0 for this medical park. If you guys want to watch this video right here, go ahead and click on that and uh, you guys can see how I did it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up like a point of interest, but it's going to be better than point of interest because it's going to be a consistent route each time. And over the next year and a half, I'm just going to continually update that and hopefully we'll be able to see every time I go around, it's kind of another progression. So if you're not subscribed and you want to see how that progresses, go ahead and subscribe. If I gave you anything of value today, click on that thumbs up button, comment down below. What do you think of Waypoints 2.0? Is it something that you would use if it came to your drone? Like if they added it to the Mavic Pro, would that be really cool? Let me know in the comments. I wanna thank you guys for watching today. As always, fly safe and fly smart.